Welcome back to the garage of warmongers. All right, on this day's episode, Milwaukee's rapid charger versus the old school regular charger. I was wondering if this thing actually charges stuff faster and how much faster. It's pretty easy to figure out. We're just gonna test a dead battery right here. You can see 17.37 volts, this battery's you know, I not all the way dead, but pretty close. I mean, if you look at my handy dandy little voltage chart here, so this is the number of cells one, two, three, four, five. All of these new uh, battery powered tools are all five series cells, right? So even if it's a nine amp hour battery or a 10 amp hour battery or whatever, it's still this setup right here. It's five cells in series and then the number of series you have in parallel is the amperage, right? That's the capacity. So min voltage, 16 volts, max voltage, 21 volts, nominal voltage, 18.5. So for all you yellow devils out there that think, oh, 20 volts so much better, it's got more power. Well, they're just advertising the max voltage instead of the nominal voltage. So actually, Milwaukee and Makita and Ryobi and those guys are actually being a bit more truthful because 18.5 is the nominal voltage and all of these are five cell series batteries. So let's just get it out of the way. I know you guys are mad because your batteries are the same, but they are because each cell in a LiPo battery is a max of 4.2 volts. Half of that is the nominal voltage 0.5 volts away, 3.7 half more volts, 3.2, is the minimum threshold to cut off before you damage the cell. There's a one volt operating range per cell in LiPo batteries. So, 8.4, 8 12.6, 16.8, 21 volts. All right, so that's how we know that they're all five cell series batteries. This pack right now, it these, these 5.0 packs, uh, I think I have another one, yeah. These 5.0 packs, these are a five cell, these are a five S2P battery. There's two rows of five cells. The five cells are both in series, and then the two rows are in parallel with each other to double the amperage. So, I was doing some quick math in my head, and I noticed, hey, the difference between XC and HD is that each row of five cells in this battery have three amps of capacity, whereas each row of five cells in this battery only have 2.5, which means they're using different cells in this versus this. And if we took them apart, we would know, just by looking at the color and the model number. I think uh, AVE took this one apart. These are the LG cells, and you know who knows? Panasonic, Samsung, someone else doesn't matter 2.5 amps per five three amps per five cells that is the difference between HD and XC good to know so you are getting better cells in the newer batteries excellent anyways and I also think they do have a six amp hour battery which would completely confirm what I just said in this configuration in this you know, standard size configuration. I think the new batteries are 6.0s, which completely confirms that they changed the cells. Anyway, 17.3 volts on this battery. Also, I noticed <laughs> there's no way that these lights are actually linear. There's no way. It, it can't be. It can't be. Anyways, let's plug in. Let's switch over to, whoops. Let's switch over to amps. Zero it out. So we are measuring amps on the common ground, on the on the ground, because there are, if you look at the DeWalt's, and I'm sure that the Milwaukee's are the same, there are two charge leads, a thermal couple, and a ground. The hot is not used on the charger. The battery common hot is not used. See how that one is, see it goes in like this. So if we flip it over, this one is missing, this terminal. So it's using thermal couple, uh, cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four, which is bullshit because there's five cells in this, and B negative common. 
So they're they're charging, they're they're splitting the charging. They're they're trying to they're trying to do some kind of I would call it dumb balancing because these are not balanced batteries. There is no balancing lead. In order to have a balancing charger, you have to have a balancing lead. You guys can look that up if you want. Or actually, I can show you. On high output batteries, like this guy in my low C, this is a balancing lead. You have a common ground, this is a four cell battery, and you have four leads, measuring the voltage of each cell. Fucking focus. And then you have your actual terminal. So, common ground, cell one, two, three, four. This tells the charger what the voltage is of each and every cell. This, and this, and this. Clearly don't have that. Anyways, let's plug it in and see how many amps we get. How many flying electrons there are to be had coming out of this bad boy. There it goes. Oh, it's climbing quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's going. This is the third time I've shot this video. My phone, the alarm went off, which canceled the video right about here. <laughs> I was pretty pissed. Because I'd already charged one of the batteries that I was using to shoot this that was already dead. And I only have one more that's dead. So I can tell you right now, it's going to get up to about six and a half amps. 6.2. Damn! Keep going. Come on, let's let's get a max reading here. Oh, pardon the bullfrogs in my garage. One just called for a, a mate. Mmm. Coffee, lifeblood of America. Yes, it's in a Starbucks cup. No, it's not Starbucks coffee. Get over yourself. Six. Point three. It's already oh, it's already scooting along. It's already up to two bars. I will say this thing charges. I, I think it charges pretty fast compared to the old ones, but I want to see what the actual numbers are. And I think you guys do too. And that's what we're trying to do here. Oh, six point four. So it's gonna peak out and it's gonna start falling. So I don't want to charge this battery too much before switching it. So I think oh. Can we get to 6.5? Is it going to go all the way to 6.5? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Now, 6.45. Okay, let's use that as our benchmark. Let's use that as the benchmark. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch these. We're going to plug the battery into this guy here. So, hold on a second. I'm going to pause the video and restart. And we're back. Okay, re-zeroing out the meter. We got the old charger plugged in. The battery's only, oh, it's still pretty discharged, so we still get a max reading on this guy. And I think this is the right plug, that's the right plug. There she goes. Do, 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 do. Come on, at least get to like four, three, oh wow, wow, only 3.1 amps, no stinking way, okay. I have to say guys, do not do this at home. Do not do what I'm doing here. Do not do this. You can electrocute yourself. You can blow some stuff up. You can destroy one of these batteries, no problem. You have to be extremely, extremely careful when dealing with unfused electronics. I mean, I've been doing this a long time and I kind of know what I'm doing and I, I try to be as careful as I possibly can so I don't kill myself or short out anything or burn down my house. But uh, do not do this at home if you don't know what you're doing. This is, I mean, marginally safe just because I actually have the proper equipment and I'm using shielded clips and stuff and I have the proper gauge wire for handling this amount of amps and stuff. 
but do not do this at home. You will burn down your mom's basement, okay? This is my house, I own it. If it burns down, I'm gonna lie to the insurance company and tell them that Das Bier Fridge caught us on fire. Which it, it won't, because it's a commercial beer fridge. Anyways, 3.2. And I have to also note, the, uh, the logic board in here makes quite the little whistle. You can hear it compared to the other one. The other one didn't do shit. It didn't make any noise, which is nice. What voltage are we at? Let's check. 18 volts. Okay, so we're not even at nominal yet. We're still pretty low. We're still pretty low. Let's switch back over to amps. The only thing I don't like, I love this, I love this Klein. The only thing is that when I measure amps, I have to zero it out every stinking time, which is no good at all. Oops, it didn't do it right. Oh, I hit hold. <laughs> I hit hold. There we go. Three amps, huh? You know what? We have other leads. I want to see what each of these leads is actually doing. This is the red one. The red, okay, so this is the this has got to be the thermal couple, the slot and the second one because it's not it's not doing dick. This is one of the chart. I think this. Oh, that one isn't doing dick either. There's the other one. The other one's the white one. Oh, all the amps are going through the white one. No stinking way. What? Okay, so there is no balancing whatsoever going on here. There's only one positive and one ground. Again, let's here, let's just do the devil's deed and check. Okay, this this one's this is the second terminal. Again, nothing, no reading. Uh, this is the fourth terminal, this brown wire. Again, not a damn thing. And then this white one, oops, look at that. All the amps are on this white one, all of them. Well, I don't know about that, guys. That's, uh, that's pretty shit-tacular. But anyways, that's how they want to do it. That's how they do it. So the center is the hot, this is the ground, and then these two are probably doing some voltage testing, maybe also some thermal protection of the kind, but there is no balancing going on whatsoever. So three amps. So I, conclusively, we can say that the, the rapid charger charges it twice as fast. More than twice as fast. This is only 3.03, .03. the rapid charger is at 6.4, the rapid charger is worth it. I wouldn't use this all the time. You're gonna wear out your batteries faster, probably, um, unless this is somehow making cleaner power than the regular charger, but it doesn't really matter. Stressing the battery, drawing that many, pushing that many amps into it is going to stress it. So if you need to use the rapid charger, because you're in a pinch or you're on a job site, do it, send it. But if you're just at home and you're just, you know, oh, I need, I should charge a couple of my batteries, I would use this one for non-critical charging needs. Anyways, thanks. Have a great day. Drink some fucking coffee. And uh, I, I need a catchphrase. AVE says, put your dick in a vice. I need a... Uh, you know, I need something like that. I'll think about it for the next episode. Anyways, have a good day, guys. See ya. Happy fucking Friday. Bye.